Hello! I am back with another book video, the Addicted series. I'm very excited about this book. The issue though is that there are so many addicted books in this series and the Barnes and Noble across the street from me does not have the first one. So I'm gonna have to drive a couple towns over to the other Barnes and Noble that's like 30 minutes away because they do have the book in stock. I need a juicy drama, I need something toxic, and I need something that's gonna take me out of my world. So I'm willing to drive that far for it. And it's perfect too anyways, because I do ceramics and the pottery studio happens to be very close to the Barnes and Noble. So I'm gonna go there, glaze my pieces, go book shopping and then come back home. And I don't know about you, that sounds like a pretty good day. only 119 pages in so I still have a good chunk to go but I'm starting to get it I was so skeptical about this book and it is insane how an alcoholic and a sex addict could be so understandable and relatable and I'm just shocked by these characters I'm very impressed with this book so far I just found that the author put a playlist in the back of this book and the playlist is very intriguing. I'm surprised. A lot of the songs are songs that like I like and I listen to, which isn't always the case with book playlists. So I did some exploring on Spotify and I found this one that is a Callaway Sisters William Lauren playlist. Hello. It has been about a week since we last checked in because you probably can't, mm, you definitely can see it. I had an allergic reaction in my eyes, so I've been reading a lot and just not filming because I look a lot better now with some Zyrtec, but before I kind of looked like I got punched in the face, so I just kind of refrained from filming for the next few days. But you guys, so much has happened in terms of book reading the Addicted series because I am already 310 pages in and we gotta get to 360 and i purposefully it was very hard i purposefully saved the last 50 pages because i've become so addicted literally to this book and the characters and most of all i'm just shocked because this book is nothing like i thought it was going to be there's just something about lily and lauren's relationship that it feels so real and authentic and i think that's what shocked me the most is given you know the romance novel title and you know the fact it's a series and it's about a toxic love and given all of their faults i really love these characters and i feel very attached to them and despite their differences and despite their issues i want them to work out so i'm, I'm afraid of getting my heart broken but if i do that just means i have to go get the sequel and find out what happens after because there's more to this story i can feel it I have so much to say about the first book of the Addicted series, but oh my god, there's no conflict really you think in the beginning. There's just this like undercurrent of weirdness and then the end of this book, I don't know if you saw my facial reactions, but my jaw dropped so many times and most of all the plot twist made sense. It wasn't something that distracted from the story and I feel like a lot kind of got resolved in this book, but the whole story is just starting and you can tell that. So I am in dire need of going to Barnes & Noble so that I can start the second book in less than an hour because the Addicted series 
it's a very smart name for it because I am becoming addicted. They have the second book. Yep. Oh, I might need to get all of these. Uh-oh. I might need to get all of these. I just want to show how happy I am that they have this book. Well, and that book. This is the second book that I thought they didn't have. Oh, okay. That I was going to get on the Kindle. And now I got all of them. Welcome back to my bookshelf, my new and improved bookshelf. Okay, I steer away from smut. And I know I just said I read fan fiction when I was a teenager, but even then I just kind of avoided the spicy stories just because for me, it feels really cringe, like really cringe, having to read a sex scene in a book. For some reason, it just makes me feel icky. So every time there is one in a book, no matter what, I just skip over it because I also find you don't really miss anything in those scenes. And I feel like they're just filler scenes for some authors. So when I picked up this book, this book is about a sex addict and an alcoholic. So in my head, I'm thinking, okay, this is gonna be a lot of smut, but people say it's really good and it's a whole series. So I feel like there has to be more than just smut because you can't build a, what? This isn't even the whole series and I have five books here. You can't build all of that off of smut. There has to be some sort of plot line. So I really went into this book blind. I really did not think I was going to like this book, but oh my God, I really liked it. Okay, I need to stop talking about this book so that I can continue on in the second book, which is called Ricochet, I believe. Okay, it is reading time. It is time for Ricochet. I started it last night because I was too impatient to wait to film this, and I am just starting January. I just kind of got the first, like, 50 pages out of the way, and I should be able to finish this in one or two days and then move on to Addicted for now. We finished the first three books. So I gave you my thoughts on Addicted to You. This is the book that got me hooked. So obviously I love this book. Ricochet was very surprising in the sense that it only took place over three months, but so much happened. And in a way, I think this was the most important book in the series, even though Lo wasn't really a part of it. And it's because you really get to know all the other characters. You get to know all the other sisters on a better level. You get to know Lily better. You get to know everyone a little bit better. So even though this is a short novel, it has a lot of major plot points that start here. And then I just finished the third book, Addicted for Now, which was the longest. I believe this was 508 pages. And I'm saying that because I do believe this book could have been shorter. The first two books I just mentioned were five star reads for me. Five stars all around, absolutely love them. This one I had to rate four stars even though I did love the ending. The first half of the book really lost me. Some of the stuff was becoming redundant and I feel like I really got a sense of Lily and Lowe's addictions in Ricochet. And now that they were back together, I get that they kind of needed to do a lot of like figuring stuff out, but there was a lot of figuring it out before they kind of figured it out. And at some point I did get a little bit bored, but then when they do the trip and they go to Mexico and there's a lot more scenes with the Calloway sisters, Connor, Reich, I got a lot more into it. And then the plot, the whole plot point of this book kind of develops a lot towards the end. So thank God I kept reading because the second half of this book I absolutely loved. It was a lot more fast paced and it was a lot less focused on the addictions and rather the repercussions of their addictions, which I found more interesting. And most of all, the end of this book 
had me wanting to read more about not only just Lily but also Daisy and Rose so much and I feel like we learned so much about Reich, we learned so much about Connor and we learned so much about Lo too and that's why I did in the end really enjoy this book because of the second half. The first half really lost me and I'm not mentioning it actually i have to mention it there is actually one huge reason why i almost put this book down <sighs> it was the pedophilia it was it was it was uncomfortable to say the least especially because i know moving forward in the series the young girl and the older man become a couple so watching their relationship develop when she's 16 years old was a little bit uncomfy to say the least and thank god lily and lo had a conscience and thank god there were other characters in the story who also were like wtf is going on this girl's a child how can this be happening but when i was reading it i was just like this is not good but the point that got me to keep reading is that there is a scene in here where I'm not going to say who one of the characters confronts this character and is like, bro, I see you. You are sexually attracted to and hitting on a 16 year old girl. You kind of got to figure your shit out a little bit. And if that had not happened, I wouldn't have kept reading it. But this does not mean my addicted journey has ended. It is not ended at all. For the first three books, I did not at all, reading the back cover of Addicted to You, never did I think that this would be the series that got me to fall in love with booked characters again. There's something about these characters in this story, there's something about these sisters, maybe it's because I have four sisters so I kind of relate a lot to that dynamics, even though they have a way different life than I do. I don't know there's just something about these stories and i love that it has kind of edgy content with the addictions and sex and all of that but the focus of this story is really the characters and that is why i love this book so much all right guys stay tuned for updates and i will talk to you again very 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 soon bye